Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with the last edition of One Hard Question for the 2015-2016 school year. Uh, this week's question, which is actually submitted um, on April 18th, um, is a very good one and it will be of interest to folks who have uh, will have graduating seniors or high school students um, starting in uh, 2022. So uh, here's the question. I do, not, I do not generally follow education politics in the state, but I did become aware of the bill that was passed in both the House and the Senate, which I understand will change high school graduation requirements starting in 2020. My girls will graduate in 2019, 2020, and 2021, but I'm interested in what, they, what you think about the bill generally. I'm not looking for specifics or what the changes will be at the schools, etc. I'm really just looking for your opinion from your own contemplation. Uh, great question, and uh, yeah, I'm familiar with this this bill and and what's um the sort of the forecasted change for uh, graduation requirements beginning in 2020, and I'm very excited about it. I think it's a it's an excellent step in the right direction. But having said that, I'll also point out that you know the devil's always in the details, and there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. Uh, in order to flesh out sort of um, what the specific graduation requirements will be and um, how that's going to impact um, school divisions uh, around the state and that and, and potentially how it could impact budgets uh, because what one thing that we'll be keeping a close eye on is uh, any kind of unfunded mandates that are attached to new graduation requirements is something you've always got to look out for um, because similar things have happened in the state um, over the years and um, if there are significant changes that are going to cause significant increases to local budgets uh, those, those are things we need to know about sooner rather than later but in terms of the specific changes it's uh, just generally speaking it's really overhauling completely the way that um, high schools are going to operate and uh, what they're going to require in terms of graduation and the options that students are going to have and in a nutshell, what it what it will will mean is students after the second year of high school uh, specifically will have more choices in terms of which track they want to go and which direction they choose to go in. Um, it will include um, much more in the, in in relationship to um, CTE career and technical education offerings, um, perhaps capstone projects and internships within the local communities, um, more assessments that are, are sort of project-based, and this is probably the thing I'm most excited about is, you know, I've always been concerned about um, finding out and determining what students actually know and what they can do when they leave us. And the current testing model doesn't really do that. It just essentially tells us that they tells us that they were able to pass a test or a mul multiple tests. I'm more concerned about I think most folks around the state are more concerned about what skills kids have when they leave us. What skills are we providing them with when they're in high school in terms of soft skills, um, just the way they interact with other individuals, the way they collaborate and problem solve. Can they collaborate and problem solve? Think deeply, think critically. And are we providing opportunities for that? Or does our, in other words, does our curriculum reflect that expectation? Does our, do our curricular offerings reflect what we expect from students in terms of the skills they have when they leave us? And those skills ought to include the ability to communicate, to collaborate, to problem solve, to do, so that we, we, we see what they're able to do through a project, through an internship, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I'm giving you just the thumbnail description of, of what's going to be a monumental change to the program. I'm going to kind of giving you the, the synopsis, but generally speaking, I think it's very good. Uh, the devil will be in the details, um, and, and we'll see. We'll see which direction it goes in, but it's still quite a ways off and plenty of time to work out all the, all the, you know, the details. But uh, generally speaking, I think it's a good thing, and it reflects the way the state is going in terms of taking a look at the um, assessment system that we have in Virginia, taking a hard look at it, 
and folks have done that, particularly in the general assemblies, and realized that you know we we've we've gone off track here in terms of what we expect from kids and the way we judge schools and uh, judge school divisions. So. Thanks for a great 2015-2016 school year. Thanks for a lot of really good questions. We'll pick this back up next fall. So until then, have a great spring, have a great summer, and probably we'll see a lot of you at the graduations coming up. Thanks.